Tea is very expensive. If you don't understand this, try the dictatorship. You appreciate the real values of democracy. One of the means for giving um, true effect to democratic practice is the conduct of elections. Elections are definitely necessary conditions for democracy to try. Even though it's been argued they are, they are not successful conditions for democracy. Now, so if elections are necessary conditions for democratic practice, then people must campaign to win elections. One of the thorny issues with our electioneering campaign has been how political parties will be able to finance um, their campaigns. It's been very difficult. Um, people do all manner of things to finance their campaign because our research, my research show that people, political party, Aparachikis, political party support base have not been able to move properly beyond their sentimental attachment to political parties to fund them. So the point is that even though people would want to die for political parties, when it comes to paying money to help finance political parties and to help finance campaign, essentially just about 2% of the party support base um, would only con will contribute resources to fund political parties and then to also finance campaign. And so um, it compels party leaders and flag bearers or those who have been elected to contest or selected to contest election to look for um, funding um, of their, for their campaign elsewhere. Sometimes um, you have individuals, uh, business, uh, individuals helping, business moguls helping. Some people will travel outside the shores of the country to go and raise resources outside the shores of the country against our own electoral laws to uh, finance campaign and people do all manner of things to um, to raise such resources to finance their campaign in a manner that creates a lot of problems for our democracy i mean what are some of the problems and challenges um, these um, um, sources of funding for campaign create some of the challenges include the fact that people can have access to drug barons and drug barons may want to be supporting their campaign and you know what will happen if people go for drug money to finance or to help finance their campaign people may mortgage the sovereignty of our country to other people um, outside the shores of our country and so if you go to another country or you go to a top business uh, man a top a top rich financier um, who is not a Ghanaian and you go pick or take so, um, funding from that person what happens is that uh, the, you, you mortgage the governance of the country to that person because at the, end, at the end of the day whatever he or she instructs you is what you must do and um, you may be governing to pro protect or promote some other national some other interests of other nationals rather than governing to promote or protect the interests of your own nation in a manner that would clearly undermine our sovereignty as, as a nation. It is also a recipe for corrupt deals um, between those who are looking for money to finance their campaign and those who have it. And so if I'm looking for money to finance my campaign and I don't have and you have, once I win election, I must sort you out in popular Ghanaian parlance. And so I have to give you some contract. Whether you have what it takes to execute a contract or not may not really uh, matter. What people do is that after fi helping to finance a post campaign, they go for all manner of contracts from those who may have won um, elections. So you see somebody who is not a tailor or a dressmaker or a seamstress, but going for contracts to be able to sew um, dresses for school children and school people, you know, and, and you know, here and there. Even if they are unable to deliver, even if they perform abysmally, even if they produce shoddy products, um, products um, the political establishment is not able to take them on properly because, well, you will be taking on your key financier. It becomes problematic. And so, these are some of the dangers, some of the challenges um, that confront our efforts at financing um, campaign.
And I am of the view that as a nation, we must begin to rethink this whole process of campaigning and how it is financed in a manner that would ensure that we would not be making ourselves susceptible to some of the dangers that um, improper or inadequate funding of campaign um, create for us as a nation. I think one solution that we may decide to look out for will be the need for us to go back to the proposal um, for public funding of political parties. I know the idea of public funding of political parties um, doesn't seem appealing to many um, people in Ghana, but a point must be made that it is important that we fund political parties in the sense that, see, well-funded political parties are able to attract the right caliber of people to their fold. And this caliber of people get eventually trained and groomed by well-funded political parties who would in turn put themselves out there um, to contest elections, um, win elections, and because they are properly attracted, they political parties